Courage the Cowardly Dog was easily one of the batshit scariest kid shows to ever grace a television. If you were a kid in the early 2000s, then the chances that you watched this and it scared the shit out of you was extremely high. I'm Didi Conway, and here are five creepy episodes from Courage the Cowardly Dog. At number five, we have Angry Nasty People. I'll start this off by saying what bothered me the most about Courage was its owners. Because in this episode, they let a dude who was clearly a fucking done or the dead zombie talk them into being on a TV show. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Bruh, he's literally a zombie, my boy. The zombie guy wants the family on the show because he sees use as basically being a dick to Courage like he always is. Man, I watched this episode and it wasn't necessarily the creepiest to me, but I was creeped out about how they just didn't recognize this ugly dude. Like, bro was a zombie. Like I said, it wasn't necessarily the creepiest to me. I was creeped out. However, I enjoyed it when Courage put his ass in the dirt. Put that nigga ass in the dirt! Still wondering how he got his ass out the grave. Number four, heads of beef. Okay, now we're already two in. But this one made me feel like, how the fuck did they make this a TV episode? This was one episode that as it went on, I started to realize what was going on. And I couldn't help but say, the fuck did I just watch? Uses and Courage go to a diner where they meet the owner who's seemingly a friendly pig. That was all cool for Courage. Until Courage realizes that the customers keep disappearing at the back of the establishment. Courage realizes that that meat is probably him chopping those people up and feeding it to others in hamburgers. He brought Eustace a big-ass, juicy hamburger. And see, that's the one thing you can say about Courage. Even though Eustace was definitely a dick to him, and Courage probably should have let him die a long time ago, he saved Eustace's ass so many times. Nevertheless, when you think about it, cannibalistic pigs serving burgers. That's some kid-friendly shit right there, boy. At number three, Demon in the Mattress. I can honestly tell you that there were two times of me watching this show that my mama saw it and was like, nah, we ain't watching that in this house. Demon in the Mattress was the one that got me banned from watching Courage, for sure. A mattress demon possesses Muriel, and she basically turns into Reagan from The Exorcist. I mean, it's not far off because she really did the a lot of the same exact shit. Watching this episode, seeing a fiery red hair, her hissing, and her levitating five feet in the fucking air gave me nightmares. I can honestly tell you, Cartoon Network was wild, man. Y'all had a demonic ass lady on TV. Ain't no way y'all really made this shit for kids. It would be lovely if I could have a cup of tea. Hell no. Till the no, no, no. Hell till the no. Hell till the no. When I say my, this show pissed my mom off. This show had my mom immediately tell me, don't let me catch you watching that. And to put some context to it, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. So yeah, we in a Bible belt. And seeing a demon terrorize a dog immediately would get you banned from watching that shit. And I ain't gonna lie, I can't blame her for banning me from watching that shit. Because even as an adult now, I'll go back and watch that same episode and be like, hell no. I probably wouldn't let my kids watch them if I had it, honestly. So I don't blame her. At number two, Freaky Fred. Probably one of the most memorable episodes and characters. This episode sees Muriel's weird-ass nephew come to visit. Now, when they call him Freaky Fred, it most certainly fit. Because Buddy was freaky as hell. Not like in a weird, like, sexual way. But listen to him. Naughty. 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 <laughs> like, you see what I mean? That shit was like his catchphrase, bro. Freaky as hell. To be real, Fred was on some Sweeney Todd shit. But bro was a barber. Really infatuated with cutting hair. Specifically, Courage's. This man was literally abusing courage. And Muriel, old blubber body ass, acted like she was oblivious as hell. Man cut off all courage hair, except the tail. Man, the way he kept rhyming the whole time was scary as hell. Eerie. Fred was a character that made you feel like he was just a straight perv. But the thing about it was, he's, he's never really doing anything extremely bad. 
And that's probably the the part that I have to come to terms with the most because he never really does anything extremely bad. It's the fact that you have to sit and just wonder and, and you feel like it's coming at some point. He's weird as fuck. And he has a compulsion to cut hair. And this is what makes him brilliant. Because it's the same thing as a fictional serial killer like Jason. Serial killers have the urge to kill, but they always have to fight this urge. Like they can't act on it. And Fred is the exact same way. But the difference being that he's not a serial killer, even though, I mean, he carries himself like one and you expect him to do that. His compulsion is just to cut hair. He has to fight the urge to cut hair. Yeah, I lied. This the episode that got me banned from watching Courage. For sure. It's not even a doubt. And number one, King Ramsey's Curse. This episode is also the episode where I knew Eustace was really bitch made in his heart. Yo, Eustace's greed and desire to keep those weak ass stolen slabs gets him and the family hunted by this disturbing ass motherfucker. Granted, those slabs were worth one million dollars. Hey, Ramsey's ass was so disturbing that it really didn't even matter how much those slabs were. He should have gave them back for sure. To hear him constantly say, return the slab, was disturbing and scary as a kid, bro. Ramsey's warns Eustace that if he doesn't return the slabs, a plague will happen. and Each one will be worse than the last until he gives it back. The house floods, gramophone plays unbearable music, and what's a plague without locusts? I think the animation of Ramsey's is what made him scary as hell. And you pair that with the whole monotone thing he has going, you got yourself one scary character that people will remember for forever. The whole structure of Ramsey still has 90s and early 2000s kids scared to this day. Seems like many people I come across remember Courage specifically because of this episode. King Ramsey only wanted his stolen property back. But he scared and scarred many of us for life. 